Brian Bates, the original video vigilante. What you are about to see is 100% real. Real hookers, real johns caught in really compromising positions. You only thought you knew the reality of street prostitution. I invite you to ride along with me now while you see the world's oldest profession through the eyes and lens of the video vigilante. trying to let folks know in the mall that there are a number of things going on in, in the wars of occupation across this country and across the world that U.S. support, not to, to support or buy, first of all, war toys that just enhances militarization for our youth, which is a problem. Second thing is that, that we know that as far as war is happening, we're spending trillions of dollars across you know, Afghanistan and Iraq and across the world. And uh, we're trying to get the message out. People have just forgotten they're here shopping. You know, they're here for their holiday. And uh, we want to... So, sorry, everyone. I had to go back and uh, remake this video, re-edit it. Um, because EMI, I guess I have a copyright infringement of EMI. But somehow this video is playable without copyright infringement uh, elsewhere. But either way, you can see all these people out here just basically just standing there kind of protesting trying to grab the attention of the sheeple out there and uh but no this was i guess it was a yoko ono and um john lennon christmas song that's playing in the background and uh so they basically just blocked my video so i had to come back here now and um and uh just sit here i'm, I'm this is how i do it i'm just waiting waiting watching it record so this is going to be a recording of a recording, so it's going to be lower quality. But either way, 
Um, the song's about to stop right here, and we're about to see the cops, the mall cops, uh, uh, just start uh, going after these peaceful protesters. So uh, let's go check it out. Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, December 7th, 2011. I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com and on YouTube it is ddarko2012. Okay, um, before I start here, I do have a quick personal little um, a thing to put out there. I've actually been filmed like that in public with people pointing, undercover agents pointing cameras at me. It's happened on the street in a small city. Um, it's happening around my house as I was pulling out, backing up. And when I confronted the individual, he walked off. Uh, I saw other other individuals walking by my house, and they do that. That's what they do. They pop out their cell phones. I really, I just want to go punch them and beat the shit out of them. But if I do that, that's playing into their game, right? So um, you can tell they'll they'll walk right past your house or right past you on the street, right at a cafe or something like that, or wherever you wherever you happen to be in public. They'll walk right past you, bust out their cell phones. Usually it's a flip or or it's an iPhone or something like that. They'll bust it out. And then uh, as soon as they walk past you, they put it away. And um, a lot of times they'll even have little uh, uh, head, like a headpiece in one ear. So very, very sneaky what they do. Uh, okay, so moving on here, I have a lot of interesting news to get to. How uh, uh, emergency number in Australia, 000, failed uh, murdered mother Joanne Wicking. And it goes on here and says, operator disregarded her repeat calls for help. And that is similar to uh, the story that we saw in the beginning with the prostitute. And they don't give a shit about her taking pictures and stuff like that because she's just throwaway. She doesn't actually pay taxes, so they don't care. Tennessee Fire Department watches home burn because homeowner didn't pay fee December 7, 2011. And it's not the first time. The woman said she was shocked, but she shouldn't have been shocked because the same thing happened in Tennessee just last year. That's right, 10-6. Uh, 2010, no pay, no spray. Firefighters let home burn Tennessee house and ashes after homeowner forgot to pay $75 fee. So it's a move it on. We have anxious Greeks emptying their bank accounts, are draining their savings accounts because they are out of work, facing rising taxes, or are afraid of the country, or the country will be forced to leave the eurozone. And it says, but withdrawing money, they are forcing banks to scale back their lending and are inadvertently making the recession worse. Now this is the same bullshit that happened in the early 1900s, which uh, after a little while came what the federal reserve act and stuff like that and the depression which is created by all the over regulations uh and uh the bankers themselves so 
It's just a little game that they play. It's another shuffle that goes on in the New World Order. Battered by economic crisis, Greeks turn to bartering networks. That's right, into their bartering. They're also uh, stealing gum and using that to barter as well. Moving on here. So Obama, or Harrison uh, Brunel, urges the new nationalism. So what is the new nationalism? Well, he goes in there and says the free market is the greatest force for economic progress in human history, but the free market has never been a free license. You take whatever you want from whoever you can. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? says uh, it only works when there are, are rules of the road to ensure that competition is fair, open, and honest. Hmm, very interesting. Next up, Obama, limited government that preserves free markets doesn't work. It has never worked. And this is, of course, what Keynesian, but it's also what? Corporatism. Corporatism is not capitalism. Seven things about the monolithic predator corporations that dominate our economy that every American... This is a cheap definition from Merriam's Dictionary. There is a better one, but the organization of a society into industrial and professional corporations serving as organs of political representation and exercising control over persons that's that's you that's a corporate status of you a person it's not actually you the human and activities within their uh, jurisdiction i.e trade you can go in there and read it yourself because i got to keep moving but corporatism is actually not too different from socialism or communism they are all collectivist economic systems and the wealth and power are even more highly concentrated than they are under socialism and communism which was what created by the bankers uh clinton turns to naked corporate fascism jp morgan exxon boeing among state department's new advisors so that's the new nationalism guys uh, clinton collected fifty thousand dollars per month from mf global and then next up many companies pay no taxes <laughs> that's corporatism italy anti-debt plan sparks controversy why because it exempts the vatican from paying property taxes toilet paper restrictions imposed on school children in spain and latest austerity cuts because well the bankers raped us so this is what we get austerity measures deal with it your fault it says here oh and it's because the free market fed may give loans to imf to help eurozone paper remember they just had integrated a bailout recently of all the central banks of the world joe biden jokes about bringing uh, hundreds of millions of u.s taxpayer dollars to bail out greece and then next up we have this eurozone france and germany urge a common tax that's right a common corporate and financial transaction tax and then so we got a world tax and a vatican calls for a central world bank to be set up next up america's drain brain 6.3 million u.s citizens now live and work overseas says no wonder the economy is on its knee well it's because of globalism <laughs> there's no jobs here if there are there's few foreigners want america's public assets so now the foreigners are coming in here and they're going to take our assets that we paid for with our taxpayer dollars right but don't worry guys that's all part of the plan why corzine of mf won't do time well he's a former u.s senator former New Jersey governor, former chairman of the Goldman Sachs. So is he going to the Who's Cow? I don't think so. Tony Blair's new bank for the super rich. That's right. So he did a good job for them. Tony Blair's formed his own financial boutique in London to offer investment services to global funds and the super rich. Next up, Blagojevich sentenced to 14 years of corruption. Why? He threatened to not do business with Bank of America ever again so what happens oh the same day december 8th or december 9th rob Agoyevich is indicted and arrested yes that's right by a family member of mine he was actually detained by the irs go figure and he said that it had nothing to do with it alabama farmers look to replace migrants with prisoners sounds familiar right just like in georgia where they're going to be replacing migrant workers and in washington where they're picking apples because they don't have enough workers guys China approves Nestle candy makers purchase, so they're going to China for cheap labor. But look, Nestle to act over child labor and cocoa industry, and that's a result of what? Well, globalization, corporatism, the new nationalism, organ gangs force poor to sell kidneys for desperate Israelis. We've seen that before. Federal appeals court reinstates corporate ownership over human genes for breast cancer. Then gene patenting causes people to be uh, company-owned intellectual property mystery company buying up u.s gun manufacturing and it's called the freedom group is backed by the three-headed b cerebus capital management so go fig and let's not forget that as soon as obama took office uh he issued the military to start hoarding brass expending brass over 46 million americans on food stamps for the first time ever texas mom shoots kids and kills self after being denied food stamps you're going to see a lot more of this in the future unfortunately mf global collapse felt in farm country because of what speculation in the commodities market and these guys have been getting paid millions now right and the f small family farmers have gone under but look at this farmland boom means end of an era for many here comes monsanto